Is your dental school failing you? Yes and no. I'll tell you why. My name is Dr. Charlie Cage and welcome to my channel where I talk about everything dentistry. Today, we'll be talking about if your dental school is failing you. So I remember during the second year of dental school, I was so excited to see my first patient. But quite honestly, when that time came around, schedule was empty. I felt like a lot of my classmates as well were complaining like, hey, we're up in the clinic. Where are the patients? But eventually those patients did come and I was busier than ever. By the time that I graduated from dental school, I felt comfortable being able to practice. The funny thing is, when I did start to practice, I figured out how much I didn't know. Luckily, I was commissioned in the military and thankfully I did a credentialing tour which is similar to an AGD, but without their credentials. So I had a lot of guidance. I had a lot of classes that helped me prepare even more as a dentist. But <laughs> things have changed over time and COVID. So this has affected a lot of programs. With that, there have been a lot of changes and that includes dental programs as well. One, there was a very large gap where the school was closed. So not only was there a lack in classes, there was also a lack in actually seeing patients. Having four years in dental school can seem like a really long time, but in reality, it's not. There's so, so, so much to learn about dentistry and having some of that cut out because of COVID can really hurt a student. They've changed exams like board exams and they've also modified classes to that where there's only 50% of the students in class at a time. So that really limits how much you can learn during that time. So because of those restrictions, a lot of things had to be cut out of the curriculum. You're the only one losing. Unfortunately, dental school is still a business and it has to function and it has to make money. So at the end of the day, their goal is to have you graduate. The question is, is your dental school up to par to say, ah, <laughs> you're not ready to graduate. We're going to keep you back. That's the question. And that's impossible to do if you have a whole year of students. It can be a class of 100, 200, 300 students. That's virtually impossible. The school will go bankrupt. Even outside of that, there are schools that have limitations as to what they actually teach. So some schools might not be heavily equipped in doing digital dentistry, and some schools might not even teach how to do amalgams anymore. But I won't get into that. But here's the thing. Even though I felt that my dental school was the best, I still spent my time volunteering at free clinics and also shadowing dentists out in town. There is so much that you can learn. Quite honestly, the more that I learn, the more I found out how little I knew. So here's the thing. As long as we understand that dental schools are there to build a foundation as to what dentistry entails. It gives us the certificate, but after that, it is our responsibility to build upon that foundation. Whether you do that with CE or AGD or any other postgraduate educational program, it is up to you to learn more. So if you feel like your dental school is failing you because you don't feel comfortable being able to practice, do not blame it on the school. That's just the situation that we're in right now. There's only so much that we can do to move past what has occurred. We are all struggling, quite honestly. But what we can do to succeed as a dentist is to take our education into our own hands. So prepare yourself to take a little bit more extra classes or to apply to a postgraduate residency. Also think hard about what program you're going to. Not just the type of specialty, but the specific program itself. So it's up to you. It is in your hands. Like with everything else, I hope you see that it's really up to us to decide what caliber of dentist that you're going to be. Does that make sense? If so, be sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.